So, hi everybody. As soon as I start to film, people want to mow their lawns. I've been waiting for a break for people to stop mowing their lawns. So, I'm sorry, but has to be done. It's been nagging me. So, Box of Shadows time for April. Um, I did get the one for March. It was uh, Ostara stuff, so I already used it. So, there wasn't really any point in me... Um, showing it because I already opened it and did what I needed to do with it and everything. Um, I had somebody ask me before if uh, these are sponsored videos. They're not. I buy all these boxes of shadows by myself, so <sighs> honest reviews, obviously, some of them, <laughs> some of them you've seen the flops, you've seen what I've liked and everything. Um, this is for April and... Ooh, they changed the print, the paper. But, uh, this is the Priestess. This is the second, uh, one you can buy out of three. Um, I'll leave the links and everything down below like I normally do. Um, they got the little recycling thing in there as usual. There's a card for something. I'm not quite sure yet. Modern Magic's, uh, thingy. Alright, well, I got an altar cloth. Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, it's got Beltane rituals. It's probably not pronounced Beltane, so whatever. Um, I guess Labradorite is the stone of the month. It's got candle color correspondences. Okay. Um, and it's got a little tip for what to do for the month. This one's a witch jar, which I could have sworn there he did that. A uh, witch, witch's jars and stuff before, but so it looks like I found the inside of it because I don't think I've ever showed the inside of one of these and then it continues on the back. Alright. Um. Ooh, is this a tarot card? Okay, never mind. I thought it looked like a tarot card deck because it was sitting on the side in the box, but it's not. It's incense. This is amber, and I love amber. It's my favorite incense uh, scent. Just the scent in general. This one, I've never heard of this. Tr Triloka Premium Incense. Um, comes with a little dinky burner for the cones. Can't really smell. Smelling it so probably can't be smelling it anytime soon because of the freaking grass, but uh, ooh, okay, wow. So I got a Labradorite bracelet along with two healthy chunks of stones. I've noticed since they've switched uh, their layout of the little booklet thing, I've been getting like pretty big chunks of uh, stones and whatnot. Last month it was Red Jasper, which is already on my altar because. One of the deities I work with, he loves red jasper. This is uh, not very stretchy, but um, very pretty. Very shiny, like metallic blues in there and everything. Um, I do have labradorite somewhere. I don't work with it all that often, but... Um, let's see, we got the herb of the month, which is meadow sweet. It's healthy baggy. Um, Smells like tea. Just smells like. It just smells like plain tea. Um, a Beltane candle. It's purple. It's got herbs. Lilac with undertones of spring blossoms. Evoke a sense of peace in life while inviting homemaking and security practices. I can smell it through the plastic. It smells pretty good, so I'll more than likely use that. Um, I think I have a random tea light. Okay, and there's the bundles of candles. Um, I'm guessing the staple from now on is white and black, which is fine. I mean, but uh, there's also... An orange, which is really pretty. 
and red and yellow. So there's those. The sage, which... Like, holy crap. Uh, this is white sage. I'm not going to open it because it might... Some of the loose leaves might fall everywhere. Okay, and here's the altar cloth, which is very, very limey green. Whoa. Just throw that. It's not the last thing in here, but... Um, it's green and gray, which is nice. It's slithering almost. Um, it's pretty big, as you can see. Um, for real. <laughs> I, it, it might fit on most of my altar. I don't know. I'm gonna have to... The fabric's actually really soft. I know, like, some of the cloth that's like that that's dyed is kind of rough when you first get to touch it. You have to wear it out and wash it but um okay the last thing on in here is a goddess figurine and candle holder which is pretty huge it's not a little dinky size so that's nice i guess that's what the the loose tea lights for <laughs> um this is a deep deep green oh wow this is cute hang on this is really, really pretty. Um, I guess this is what the Modern Magics card is for. I'm not sure. But, um... Oh, it comes with a tea light in it. Okay. Um, it's removable. So I got two tea lights for this. Um, this is the back. It's, like, all greeny and mossy. This is... The front is really pretty. It's got dragonflies on it. I love dragonflies. It's got a squirrel down at the down toward her feet. There's a moon, flowers. Um, I think these are beetles, the little red dots. I can't really tell. Yeah, they're beetles. Now that I look in the camera, um, very very pretty. <laughs> I did just buy a statue set for Hera, so I'm kind of. I don't know. This will this will be good on the go, I guess, or something. Or, but yeah, just fits a little tea light in there. That's really really neat. Um, surprised I got that with this because normally, uh, the more expensive box, the Supreme, I think it's called. They normally get stuff like this, and I'm left looking at it like, oh well. Alright, well, that was everything in the box, and I'm sorry for the lawnmowers. Um, I will make another video next week. I'm not quite sure what it's about. I've written down so many ideas. I started writing ideas down because I keep forgetting what I want to uh, record and everything. So, hopefully, um, hopefully I'll get around to uh, next week putting out another video. I just got to figure out which topic I want to cover first. But thank you guys for watching.